unsigned binary division. By the end of this lecture, you should be able to solve basic unsigned binary division problems. What you should know beforehand. Before coming into this lecture, you should already understand the concepts of binary subtraction and long division. Now, since binary subtraction is such an important part of binary division, we're going to go over a quick review to make sure everybody's up to scratch. So the rules of binary subtraction are as follows. 0 minus 0 will give you a 0. 0 minus 1 will give you a 1 and you borrow because you borrow a 1 from the more significant bit. And 1 minus 0 will give you 1 and 1 minus 1 will give you 0. Now all these except 0 minus 1 will give you 1 are intuitive. So to understand this one we'll go through a quick example. We're subtracting binary 1, 1 from binary 1, 0, 0. So as we come to do the subtraction, we start to the right as usual, and we realize that we have to subtract 0 from 1, which can't be done. So we realize that we need to do some borrowing. So in borrowing, we look to the 1 because the next digit, next digit to the left is a 0 and 1 is the more significant bit. So as we borrow from the 1, it becomes 0 and the 1 is passed to the 0 in the middle. This results in it becoming 1, 0, which is decimal 2. It's important to note that this is not 1, it is 1, 0. This is a mistake people make often. So now that we have and we have one zero in the middle, we can now borrow again to get zero. To, we can now borrow again so that the digit to the right becomes one zero as well. So we do this, and now we have one zero as our rightmost digit. So as we subtract one zero from one. As we subtract 1 from 1, 0, we get a 1. As we subtract 1 from 1, we get a 0, and 0 alone comes down. So our answer is 0, 0, 1. So now that we have a clear understanding of binary subtraction, we can speak about binary division. So in binary division, it is much like decimal division, except the steps of binary subtraction are applied. So just like in decimal division, we set it up in the same format and then just apply the rules of binary subtraction to it. So these will be this will be understood more clearly with the use of an example. So in this example, the dividend is 11010 and the divisor is 101. So the first thing we do is say how many times can 101 go into 1? When we ask the question, how many times can 1, 0, 1 go into 1, we get 0, and so that is added to the quotient. Next, we asked, how many, time, how many times can the divisor 1, 0, 1 go into 1, 1? Again, we get 0, so that's added to the quotient. And then we ask, how many times can 1, 0, 1 go into 1, 1, 0? For this one, we get a 1, and so a 1 is added to the quotient. That 1 is then multiplied by the divisor 101 and the answer is written beneath the dividend. Our binary subtraction must now be done. So now we must perform our binary subtraction. In performing our binary subtraction, we're subtracting 101 from 110. Our rightmost digit is 0 minus 1. We realize that we can't subtract 0 from 1, so we need to borrow. So we look to the neighboring digit to the left, which is 1, so we can borrow from it. So in borrowing from the 1, it becomes a 0. So now we have 1, 0 minus 1. 1, 0 minus 1 gives us a 1. Next, 0 minus 0 gives us a 0. And 1 minus 1 does not have to be 
included in this because in binary division we do not include the leftmost digit of the subtraction. So that's just excluded. The next step is to bring down the closest neighboring digit in the dividend which is not part of the subtraction. So in this case that is 1. So we bring down the 1 from the dividend and move on to the next step. Next we ask how many times can 101 our divisor go into 011? The answer is 0 and so we add a 0 to our quotient. 0 multiplied by 101 will give us 0. So we add three zeros beneath the 011. And as previously done, we perform our binary subtraction. So what you're we're subtracting 011, we're subtracting 000 from 011. So 1 minus 0 will give us a 1. 1 minus 0 again will give us a 1. And we know we exclude the leftmost digit in the subtraction. So now that this is completed, we bring down the 0 in the dividend. Next, we ask how many times 101 can go into 110. The answer we get for that is 1, so a 1 is added to the quotient. Next, we multiply this 1 by 101 and write it beneath the 110, and we have to perform a binary subtraction. So the rightmost digit in our, in our subtraction is 0 minus 1. And we know 0 cannot be subtracted from 1, so again we have to borrow. So borrowing from the 1 to the left, it becomes a 0, and 1 is passed to the 0 that on the right. So the 0 on the right is now 1, 0, or decimal 2. So 1, 0 minus 1 gives us a 1. Now 0 minus 0 gives us a 0, and 1 minus 1 gives us a 0. So we end up as our answer being 00101 or just 101 with a remainder of 1. And this has been a binary division example. The end. The key to anything math related is practice. With that being said, I invite you and encourage you to watch these videos multiple times so the ideas and concepts really stick in your head. After that, I recommend practicing using our quizzes to make sure you understand thoroughly and properly. Thank you from Bynamath.